Okay. Just waiting for people to come on. Um, this is the very outfit that I will be wearing when I will be doing my video on the um, November 8th Lunar Eclipse video. That I'll do. All right. So, whilst I, um, you know, I'm going to be trying to do stuff as best I can with what I can get. Um, let me just go on the gram, as it's called. <laughs> the gram. I think it's so funny to call it that. Um, hopefully, Nadia Shaw will be up and at it again next week. It's gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. Um, absolutely beautiful. Um, all right, let me just go to my Instagram page here and update. You know, I don't know if all of you follow um, this person, um, but the Saffron Sage. You know, actually what I want to do is there's going to be uh, an autumn concert that on Friday we're going to start getting into music for that because that's going to be mid-November. You know, the very end of Scorpio season or, you know, kind of mid-November, kind of, you know, around the 16th of the month. Um, so I do want to get started on that. And one of the songs that I'm thinking of is um, a song called Out of This World. And I'll send you, um, you know, actually I should put a post up about that. So let me find the song. If I can, uh, maybe it's not there. Oh, here it is. Okay. This is, um, you can go listen to the song. This will be one of the songs for the um, autumn um, performance. And I do want to just do one song um, paying homage to the Saffron Sage, and it is Out of This World. And if you listen to it, the lyrics may be pretty random, but I just think of this song when I um, you know, watch her, and I know that she, um, you know, continually produces, um, all kinds of videos, and, you know, I do the same, but, you know, like, if I'm talking about this astrological event, my plan is to not have, you know, a video about it, and then a post about it, and then shorts about it. It's either one or the other. And I may have a post that I say, okay, check out this video that I made about this. But, you know, I want to do that. I'm not going to, you know, you know, copy and paste one thing on one platform to another platform. You know, what I do is going to be specific for either this platform over here or this platform over, you know, there. So what is on Facebook may not be the same as on Instagram, YouTube, or TikTok. And I need to kind of practice saying that over and over again. Um, so um, I put the song up as um, just something for you all to see. It is public. Um, and... Let me um, just X out of this. You know, the autumn, con you know, what I want to do is, um, you know, 2021, 2020, uh, 
you know, you were really cranking away for those of you who were in choir because every 30 days you would need a music to perform and this and that, and it got to be too much, and I know how overwhelmed and busy you all were. So I've decided, okay, you know, every single season, autumn, winter, um, you know, spring, summer, there'll be a concert, um, you know, probably... Um, you know, at the, you know, kind of the finale of the season, maybe I'll make it at the beginning of the season, um, but let's plan on, you know, the finale or midway to the season, um, dealing with songs that have to do with the signs of that season. So we're dealing with Labor Scorpio and Sagittarius. And I also want to do, um, a holiday, uh, winter concert in, um, uh, December, um, and that is going to be, uh, you know, it's going to be, okay, we have the 10th, 11th, 12th, 13th, 14th, 15th, 16th, on the 16th. So Friday, December 16th is going to be the date of that concert. And I have to kind of put together songs. Um, you know, this year, 2022, we have looked at the nodes. I've been very interested in the nodes. That's been kind of the focus. I've done videos about it. 2022 is the year of the lunar nodes. Um, I will say we had that upcoming concert. So we have several things going on, uh, including the, um, you know, Aaron Dowdy thing. And I may have to combine stuff and, you know, see if I can um, change things and put you know, one concert and the other. For example, I may put Aaron Dowdy's music in the um, Scorpio North Node concert. Um, and the interesting thing with that is it's kind of, um, kind of juxtaposed. I'm kind of taking a look at the Taurus South Node traits and really shining a light on those. Um, and, um, you know, and the Scorpio North Node, um, there's going to be um, maybe, you know, sort of combined things. But it will be about um, letting go and, um, you know, so many different uh, types of themes. But it will certainly not be, you know, completely about sharing and teamwork and all that, which is super you know, oversimplified. It's like the version of Scorpio North Node that they make and they tailor it to the Taurus South Node, stereotyping the Taurus South Nodes as they're very difficult people to be able to handle complex material, which I don't agree with one bit and I really disapprove of. So, you know, um, anyway... I don't know, um, you know, I think I put the right thing. I, you know, I know that um, Colette and Deborah Silverman, uh, you know, I know Colette is doing um, an Oracle Flix thing, and she does little videos. She has um, little journaling activities and Oracle card exercises that you can do, but you don't have to, um, you know. For example, in her first video, she was talking about a synchronicity. Well, I can't think of a synchronicity, um, you know, in my life. So, you know, you don't have to do these things. It is all about, does this serve you? You know, are you going to get something out of it? it? You know, it's not like school. It's not like, you know, going to college, which I've given it away already. I am in college and I go there. You know, it isn't like that. So if you watch the videos and you get that vibration, then, you know, you know, surrender it and say, nope, this is not what it is. I have free will and I have a choice on your value, all those things, you know, and that is what, you know, I strongly believe in. And I trust that Colette um, would believe in the same thing. Um, so yeah, you don't have to do every single journaling and stuff like that. You know, uh, you know, 
I would highly, highly recommend that you do the exercises in, you know, Oracle card picks, but not, you know, every single one if you don't want to. If something resonates, you know, if something, you know, gets out of you, is okay, this is going to be meaningful for me to, you know, jot this down and, you know, go through this exercise and, you know, gain wisdom, you know, through the Oracle cards, through writing, well, then, you know, by all means, why not? Go for it. But if something is just not hitting you or just not resonating with you and something that you just can't come up with an answer to a certain problem, just, you know, skip over it and you know, move on to something else. Um, you know, no skin off anyone's back. So uh, that's what I just wanted to remind you because it is not school. I just want to say that. And let me tell you, I'm pretty about, you know, I have a Libra moon and I have a Taurus Mercury. And I hope that nothing I say is extreme and super black and white. Um, if it is, then maybe it's your perception, but I do try to, you know, make things, you know, balanced and moderate. Um, so that is what is going on there. Let me just clear watch history before I get into what I want to talk about today. Um, unless there's something else I need to clear um, out of the way, first of all, before I get into anything else. Boom. By the way, when you say anything... Okay, my brain has a problem with trusting that everything is okay. Okay, brain, focus, boom, boom, done. Let it go. <laughs> Let it go. Yeah, I have to turn on that logical side of my brain that says, no, you know, you're good. Everything is checked off the list. Everything's, you know, fine. Everything's where it needs to be. You've taken care of yourself. You know, let it go. So, uh, I will check that one more time and then I will completely X out of the tab here. All right. Now, because of the Mercury retrograde, I have discovered several um, people that I knew before in my past that I have friended on my Facebook page. Mercury retrograde is anything R-E, like any word that has R-E as the first syllable, you know, that's, you know, you know, that's a, you know, that's a hot button, you know, type of word, um, you know, it, you know, it's important. So revisiting, rekindling, re-seeing, you know, re-meeting, re-acquainting, you know, all those reads. Now, we're at the end of Mercury Retrograde. This has been, um, you know, the last one was, you know, white ra water rafting. This is more of kind of a, if I were to go in a boat and have kind of the waves, you know, there's waves, of course, and it goes up and down, but it's more, you know, the boat goes up and down, but, you know, it's more stable and, you know, and, you know, more grounded. And now I can honestly say, because Mercury is retrograde in Virgo, the sign that it does rule. Virgo is an Earth sign, so that really helps quite a bit. You know, that transit of Mercury and Gemini, I'm sorry, but I'm kind of pessimistic about it. And I'm kind of, you know, if you want to ask me about it, I am going to give you some gloom and doom. You know, I, I said this before. You know, I was watching myself doing a little short video on September the 12th saying, you know, I don't care what's going on in my life. Next time Mercury is retrograde in Gemini, I will go on a retreat. I was saying to myself, well, I'm pretty formidable. I'm pretty responsible. I'm pretty grown up and I'm pretty independent looking at myself that way. You know, put putting the astrology on the back burner for that point. But anyway... You know, Mercury retrograde in Gemini, I will be out, you know. So 2028, 
May 21st through June 13th. You're wondering, how can you remember that? Well, I can't because I just have excellent memory, I guess. For that three-week window, I will be out. I will not be connected to the world. I may, you know, I may, you know, post, you know, there's no guarantee. But I will be kind of cut off and in a, um, you know, in a sanctuary, in peace and in, you know, bliss, hopefully. Um, going through nirvana, enlightenment, you know, going through more simple and pure experience to calm down the monkey that's just going crazy in my mind for that three-week period. Mercury retrograde in Gemini is um, a placement that if I did choose my own Mercury, guess what? That would be the Mercury I would choose. If I had my chart, I would want my moon in Taurus, Mercury in Gemini. Mercury in Gemini is, you know, I would say if, if there were, if there was a pedestal, because I didn't believe in pedestals, but if there was, it would be at the top, Mercury retrograde in Gemini, down there. Um, so, yeah, self-care, 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 and if I didn't say it before, self-care. Mercury is retrograde and the sign of Gemini. You know, I'm 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 not kidding. I really am not kidding. Um, you know, it did, I'm gonna use a word that's certainly not in my vocabulary to use. Um, um you know, it stinks when you have Mercury retrograde and you have a graduation and you're getting a new computer and all these, you know, it's like the year is reaching its climax and, you know, Jupiter moving to Aries, Mercury retrograde and then feeling the energy of that, you know, yeah, very rough times, you know, that, that, um, May 2022, um, rough. So anyway, um, that is my spiel about that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go down and find my moon placements. So I'm doing this. And, um, let me just find things here. Because I am, you know, stuff. So while I'm doing this, I want to get into the real reason why I wanted to come on this live stream. Back it up. I have not made as many live streams as Nicholas um, Ashba, um, Ashba. Um You know, I could really see the two of us having a disagreement over something. Um, I don't know. But I certainly don't do as many live streams. Um, I certainly won't plan on doing any live streams, uh, um, in the future because, you know, what you say is out there, you know, it's, it, it's a lifetime. It's very nerve wracking, very chaotic, very overwhelming. You know, I'm not going to do that. Uh, you know, and it is restricting, you know, there is that element of, uh, restriction there. So let me put in the post. Here, whilst I'm doing this. Okay, go up. Gorgeous. 
Now, the one mistake I made when I posted stuff to Instagram in the past is some of the images were cut off and some of the words, because I put like little quotes, um, quotes up, not images of quotes, written words, the words, uh, letters were cut off. So I had to redo that and go back and post all the posts on um, last Friday. So, you know, that's kind of imperfections. No, absolutely not. You know, one thing for something being perfect in a type of way, another thing for you not to be able to read all the words on the screen. Doesn't make any sense at all um, why that should be the case. So, I'm doing that. And by the way, I want to remind you that what I do on my social media is um, a hobby. It is not my career or profession yet. It is free. I don't have to pay to do this. I want to do this. I enjoy doing it. And I will continue doing it. And pretty soon I'll get um, initiate a website, hopefully, um, if all goes well and it turns out to be a possible process. Okay. Now, I want to talk about a very pressing topic. And that is... just want to... Check my page again. Boom. Taurus. Taurus moon. I'm going through the different moon placements here. Um, okay. So, you know, what is really very much on my mind is the fact that I may also have a very narrow vision for what this, the Taurus South Node may symbolize and may represent. Not everyone really believes in the philosophy work smarter, not harder. Um, you know, unless it is smarter, to work harder in the first place, you know, and don't pet rock that. Please do not hand me a pet rock. You need to explore. Okay. If you're the one saying that, if you're the one like emphasizing your words, saying maybe it's smarter to work harder, that you, you have got to provide, you know, evidence, supporting details as to why that is. You know, if you are a pet rocking, why are you handing me a pet rock? Why are you, you know, reversing, trying to change up my own words for your claim that you're making? You need to provide that. Otherwise, you're simply handing a pet rock. It doesn't check out. It, hands, it, it, it doesn't have any value on it, and it's kind of irritating. So, um, anyway... You know, I did title this live stream Betty McGeary, and the reason why I titled this this is just to be pretty blunt and straight about what I'm talking about. I remember saying in August, I hope that I will not have anything to talk about concerning what will be going on in my life you know, later on in the fall in the coming months or something like that. Well, lo and behold, you know, there are things on my mind that I have to speak about. And just as any other time, it was kind of faded. It was kind of guaranteed. Like, I can make this promise. I can make this statement. But it's kind of, you know, you know, don't put all of your bets and coins in the basket that, it's going to be the way that I claim that it is going to be. So, um, you know, 
there are some of us who are, we're all very different. And some of us are more conservative and serious than others. And, you know, I could have done a, um, like an audio um, video of that because I enjoy doing audio podcasts. Like, you know, I could start my own podcast someday. I could really see that. I really could. But um, my phone is charging up. And the other phone, the new one, I will not do anything that I don't feel comfortable doing on. I've tried that. I've tried getting past it. I'm, um, you know, no, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to have that guilt. I'm not going to have the insecurity as I'm trying to do that. No, no. So, no. Um, But just to say, you know, there are some people that have a kind of impression of taking little details and putting it into a whole analysis. Like taking something that someone said and really, you know, analyzing it, even if it's, you know, not a big deal. Um, and, um, you know, trying to get my thoughts together. Um, you know, we're all different. And we all have different approaches and we all, um, you know, have different personalities and different teaching styles. And I'm not here to judge and hold anything against anyone. You know, it is my own perception of things. Um, so yeah. Um, you know, that's the kind, you know, I was going to go into a whole expressatory deal, but yeah, I have a change of heart right now. The other thing is, I will not ever use the community tab. You know, why, if you, if you, you know, never use it and you can't pay for it and you never use that from the start, you know, why do you need to use it? Um, my Facebook page will be you know, the community tab and will forever be a community tab. I will probably never um, grow with YouTube in the ways of making money. I will make money in other ways. If I set up any memberships, it will be on my potential website. If I do any mobile live streams, it will be off of the separate um, apps, like I have done Streamlabs Prism Live, which I'll really not plan to do again. And any stories I do will be on, you know, Facebook or Instagram. Um, you know, TikTok maybe. Um, and I'm trying to think of anything else. You know, really not any feature that, you know, is not worth money, nor is it free. If it's free or it costs money, and I have the money and I can pay for it, and then I will use it because why not? But, you know, it's very unfair that somebody has more followers and you can't easily attain this very simple and practical thing as a community tab through money or, you know, if it's free, um, which it's not. So it's very, you know, it's kind of rude. And, you know, it's just like making you, you know, showing off your success, basically, instead of tapping into simplicity and, you know, equality and, you know, humility. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So that's my opinion of that. 
you know, I have all the success when it comes to social media and all of that. I haven't published any books. I haven't, you know, set up blog or newsletters or anything like that. I may monetize for certain products and videos, and I don't know. But, you know, I've linked to other, you know, social media platforms. I have the channel all set up. Um, I will take the most advantage of any feature on YouTube if a either is free or it costs money and I can save up to, you know for that money and then pay for it then you know I'll use it um, but I do want to be fair and somebody that others can look to like you know I may attain 1k you know one you know million subscribers but i'm going to use everything that i have available to me right now forever nothing more than that um nothing more so that people can go to this channel and say you know this person is like me having 1k subscribers but not using the community tab and all those things. You know, I can't tell you how much of, um, you know, a blessing that, um, you know, Malika Semper is, Pam Gregory is, um, you know, all those people, you know including the people who have used the community tab and others but um really you know if you haven't used it don't use it you know just if i had to you know make the rule don't use it and again i may make rules and they may be dictatorial and they may be unfair and limiting to you but i have pretty good, authentic, you know, reasons why I make these rules. You know, I can only, I'm going to only compromise so much and bend so much. You know, there has to be lines. There has to be, you know, certain standards and healthy limitations that have to be put into place. I'm not going to completely bend over backwards. My power, my authority, my voice, my command, and my, um, you know, what is available to me to make this ruling. Um, I'm not going to do that because that is not why I am here doing this as an amended leader. Uh, I'm certainly not going to do that. It is going to, you know, I, I'm going to do that. And then eventually I'm going to look back thinking, why did I do this? And revert back to just me being who I am. And I'm going to be who I am and do what I feel that I want and need to do of what feels right to do. And it may be extreme. It may be extreme. But... I'm really working on putting up healthy boundaries and not allowing myself to get drained emotionally, you know. So that's what I want to say. And I mean that. I'm pretty, I mean, you know, I'm 100% honest, as honest as I can be. So that's what I want to tell you genuinely. Have a good day.